Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and this is just a quick video where I'm gonna show you how to adjust the switch weapon to slot code because we will need it on the next episode where we add the down function because we need to switch uh, the weapon slot in use to the slot zero, and the code that we have right now doesn't allow it. So let's get to work. So we want to go to the PP first person character. Here, I'm actually gonna close these that we don't need. Yeah, so we want to go to the switch weapon to uh, switch weapon slot function. So, switch weapon slot, let's open it. Okay, and what we want to do here, we have here on the start this, we want to delete this set weapon slot number, and now we want to go to our local variables. Okay, that might be the one that was set here. Okay, let's actually change this name. Let's call it new weapon slot number and like temp. Okay, and now let's set it here. I deleted it because I'm, I was not sure if it was the one uh, here, new wep uh, weapon slot number, or if it was the local variable, but yeah, it should be the local variable. Now we actually want to go to the, to here, and we have this three, this middle one, weapon slot number, we want to delete that, like that. So we only have weapon slot in use and new weapon slot number. Okay, now we want to connect this to that branch, and now we should have this index connected to the new weapon slot number temp, and now we want to delete this, and we want to move all this code to somewhere around here. <laughs> okay, and now we want to delete this and we want to check if this weapon slot in use is not equal to new weapon slot number temp, like that. Okay, and now let's move this closer. Like that. Okay, now we want to click this uh, execute thing, node. Let's add a input and let's call it new weapon. Okay, now let's get it here and get, let's get a or boolean. Now we want to connect this, uh, sorry, this to the condition and this to here. And let's add a uh, reroute in here. So, yeah, everything should be right here. Now let's get the all, all the code after the branch and let's move them further. Now what we want to do here is we want to get our new weapon slot number temp and we want to set it to the new weapon slot number Apple. So, so basically what we are doing is we are saving it here as local variable and we are checking all this code. If this code, code goes through, then we are going to set it. Okay. After that, what we want to do here is we want to actually delete this here and connect straight from the is reloading, changing to the set array element. And let's delete all these also, this select and this. And now let's move this further. Now we want to get our um, weapon slot in use. We want to connect that to the index. Okay, and I will make this look a little bit better, like that. Okay, let's compile and save. And here, what we want to do is we want to delete this bot and we want to actually get the new weapon slot number and we want to promote it to a weapon slot in use after all that code. Okay. Yes, compile and say, let's click this on equip. 
And here we have this set weapon slot. We can actually delete this new weapon slot number from here. And let's open this. Here we want to connect this pin and we want to delete his input because we don't need it anymore. And what we want to do here next is we have we don't have anything connected to this in, uh, index. We want to connect our new weapon slot number there. Okay. Connect it to here. And everything else here should be correct. Okay, let's compile and save. Now, let's go back to the event graph. And yeah, what we want to do here now is we want to find our function called set new weapon to slot. Okay, let's open it. And here on this function, only thing we have to do actually, let's check these. Okay, that's correct. That's correct. These are correct. So basically only thing I noticed that we have to do is we want to set this new weapon to true. Okay, let's compile and save. And I actually think we are done here. So let's go and check that everything works. So everything should work exactly as before. I cannot change weapon slots when I have only one weapon. No, when I have two. I cannot change to the same slot. I can only change to the other slot. And the same thing with this. Okay, everything is working as they should. So yeah, now it allows us to change to weapon slot zero that we have here on the weapon slots array. We actually don't use it yet. We are using only the one and two, but we are going to use the slot zero with the down weapon. Maybe later on with some special weapons, or maybe we will add another slot, I don't know. And also if we create a perk like mule kick or something like that, that allows us carry three weapons, then we can now add a new uh, index here. And now this switch weapon slot code allows us to do so. Because before it didn't allow us to change between anything else than one and two, but yeah. Okay, I think that was all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe for more. Hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.